Hey everyone, it's Green Eyed Guide, your guide to the science behind caffeine and energy drinks. Today we tackle one big question. Which is better, coffee or an energy drink? This question is really hard to answer. It's like trying to answer why do flammable and inflammable mean the same thing? Or why do dogs have Instagram? So let's make this question easier. What if you're trying to pay attention and focus? Which is better, coffee or an energy drink? This question we can answer by looking at caffeine and how the other things in your coffee or energy drink work with or against caffeine when you're trying to focus. So that's the big question we're answering today. Are you ready? Let's go. Oh my gosh, my face is so tan. Dude, so I live in Wisconsin and my face gets all the sun, but the rest of me is super white. Anyways, before we get started, drop in the comments below. What do you like to do when you're trying to study? Think back to the last time you were cramming for an exam. Do you like to listen to classical music or EDM? Do you like to snack on something crunchy? What's your favorite thing to do when you're trying to study and focus? Drop it in the comments below. I always feel like I'm dancing when I do that. As you can tell, I'm an excellent dancer. One day, I could tell my friend was getting really upset at me. We were playing a video game together and all I had to do was go straight. They took my controller, got me all set up, and all I had to do was go straight. Do you know what I did? I went straight and then I fell into a pool of acid. I had one job, to not mess up. This is how caffeine must feel. Caffeine is really good at making people feel awake and alert. But do the other things in coffee or in an energy drink play along? To start, let's look at a cup of coffee. In coffee, there is caffeine, obviously, as well as chlorogenic acid and theobromine and other phytochemicals, natural plant compounds. So does the chlorogenic acid help or hurt when you're trying to focus? Well, if you could extract the chlorogenic acid content of 17 cups of coffee and squeeze it all into one cup, it would give you the brain power, the focus power of one cup of coffee. So yeah, it does nothing to help you. Chlorogenic acid does not help you focus, but it doesn't get in caffeine's way either. Coffee also contains theobromine. Does theobromine help you focus? Well, caffeine kicks in and reaches peak concentration in your blood in 30 minutes. Theobromine reaches peak concentration in 2.5 hours. In general, theobromine supposedly reduces your blood pressure, but combinations of theobromine and caffeine were not found to have any effects on blood pressure. When you're trying to focus, caffeine and theobromine seem no different than caffeine alone. Like chlorogenic acid, theobromine doesn't help you focus, but it doesn't get in caffeine's way either. Okay, so what about energy drinks? Well, despite what some people may think or say, energy drinks do not have a standard formula. They come in all shapes and sizes and have a wide variety of ingredient combinations. So let's make this comparison easier and look at the number one selling energy drink. That's right, Red Bull is the number one selling energy drink. So let's compare black coffee versus sugar-free Red Bull. They're both sugar-free, so that's an easier, more fair comparison. In sugar-free Red Bull, there's caffeine, obviously, as well as taurine and B vitamins. Unless you have a B vitamin deficiency, those B vitamins will not do anything to help or hurt your ability to concentrate, your ability to focus. Again, please do not use energy drinks as your primary source of vitamins. So what about taurine? Combinations of caffeine and taurine 
made people do worse on performance tests than caffeine alone. I have to emphasize this just a little bit. We're only talking about cognitive performance. We're not comparing caffeine and taurine versus caffeine alone for athletic performance. We're only talking about cognitive performance. Taurine increased the reaction time and led to worse results in attention tests. Combining caffeine and taurine is kind of like driving with your emergency brake on. You're still gonna get there, just a little bit more slowly. This means if you're trying to study, if you're trying to focus, caffeine and taurine is not a good combination. There are three takeaways here. Number one, if you're trying to focus, coffee is better than an energy drink because taurine conflicts with caffeine and may lead to worse cognitive performance. The ingredients and components in coffee don't work against caffeine. They stay out of caffeine's way. Coffee is better than an energy drink with taurine, which leads me to point number two. There are plenty of energy drinks without taurine. No taurine, no taurine, no taurine, no taurine. There are lots of other energy drinks that try to appeal to the coffee drinkers. This is just one example. I'm not a coffee snob at all. In fact, I hate plain black coffee, which is why I started drinking energy drinks in the first place. But this one is one of my favorites. It's got that nice milky mouthfeel, very creamy and smooth. It tastes like a vanilla latte. But again, I'm not a coffee snob, so. Shoot, it has taurine. Okay, scratch that. <laughs> okay, so this one has taurine too. Oops. And three, if you combine a high amount of sugar with your caffeine, all bets are off. In studies on cognitive performance, people that had caffeine and sugar felt more tired than the people that had caffeine alone. Also, glucose and sucrose, which is table sugar, led to worse cognitive performance than caffeine alone. So if you are doing a study session or if you are trying to focus, try and have sugar-free caffeine. I hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a like. That always makes me feel good. And drop in the comments below what you enjoyed most about this video. I want to make sure to provide you information that you find helpful in your life, in your job. So let me know what more you'd like to see. Also, remember to subscribe for the Green Eyed Guide newsletter. I've got lots of different business trips where I'm doing guest lectures and speaking events. So if you subscribe to that newsletter, then you'll know when I come visit your town. And for those of you that have asked, yes, I do consult for a few different energy drink companies. I help them understand the research behind different ingredients and understand what different ingredients are doing how much is an effective amount that will affect people biologically, etc. So yes, I do do that for those of you that have asked. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. Till next time, I'm Green Eyed Guide, your guide to the science behind caffeine and energy drinks. Take care.